Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will explain how we can use the word when any or the function when any. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how you can use the function when all. And in the other previous tutorial, I also introduced you to task, asynchronous programming, and also return type on asynchronous programming. Now I will show you the function when any. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, please go watch them before this tutorial. So let's pretend this is where we ended the last tutorial. So now, uh, and we thought that uh, in, in the next uh, in the previous tutorial we also had return types here. But when we are using when any, the return type is the finished task. So when one task in this list, we have two tasks here. When one gets finished, it will be stored here. So what we can do is that we can do if, or we can do, uh, we can do bum, bum, while, I think. Yeah, let's do while. And then we take this list of all tasks. While all tasks.count is larger than one or zero, I think. Then we, we, we will be inside this uh, while loop. And we say if the finished task is equal to the, the first number task, we will do console write line number task has been finished. Oh, let's add this one. No, I can actually survive without that. Else if finish a task is equal to the next task called number 100 task, we're going to say console write line number 100 task has been finished. And after that, we're going to take uh, this list all task and we're gonna do remove we're gonna remove the finished task from here so this list that contains all the tasks when one task has been finished so we will come here and it will wait for one task to finish when one task has been finished we will go down here and then we will see what type has been finished. Is it number task or number 100 task? And yeah, it will do a console right line to explain to us which task has been finished. And then it will remove the task from this list. And then we will wait for the next ta task to finish. And then we will go down here and do the same operation. So let's see if this works. So it's doing the task now. And we can see the number 100 task has been finished. But we see, whoa, we have uh, many logs here. So we have to find and find, uh, make our method better. So our issue is that when one task has been finished, it will go down here. And as long as the all task count is larger than zero, it will go and check which task has been finished and it will write it to the console and then remove the task from the task list we have up here. But when it's done with that, it will go back to this while loop and do the same operation. So our goal is not to do the same operation again. Our goal is to wait for the next task to finish and then do the same operation. So we have to take this row here and write it in the while loop. So as long as the while loop is larger than zero, we will come here. And when one task has been finished, it will write it to the console. It will remove it. It will remove it from the all task list. And then we'll go back here and then we'll wait for the next task to finish. 
So let's see if it works. So it's doing the tasks now. And we can see the first task to be finished was number 100 task has been finished. So it removed the number 100 task. So we checked, oh, you're equal to number 100 task. It wrote this. It removed it from the list. And then it went back up here and it waited for the next task to be finished. And that task was number task has been finished. So the, yeah, the first task here basically. So it wrote number task has been finished and it removed it from the list. So this function is also really useful when you want to do something when one task has been finished and then you uh, go back and wait for the next task. What you can also do with when any is that when you can put a limit, like you want five tasks to run at the same time. And when one task has been finished, you want to want to remove that from the list and you want to add another task. So if you have like 50 tasks to run at the same time, but you only want five tasks to run um, asynchronously, you can put a limit on that uh, with the help of when any. If you look at the previous tutorial where we explained about when all, you can use when all when you want all the threads, or I would not say threads, all the asynchronous, um, asynchronous function uh, to finish, and then you want to move to the next step. And this is really good to use for performance, and also to make your application more um, responsive. So, for example, if you develop a mobile application and you don't use async and await, what will happen is when the user press on something and you have a thread being blocked because it's doing a function that takes more than 10 seconds, for example, the user won't be able to use your application. Like, you won't be able to scroll, you won't be able to press other buttons because the application is being frozen. If you, if you have a web API that is not using when all uh, asynchronous programming, what will happen is that if you have too many uh, re requests happening, those will be blocked because one because the main thread is being blocked by another function. All right, thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe and like the video. Bye bye.